I'm here with Jan, and Jan makes videos on YouTube, and he's obviously in Korea, but if you search for Korean topics, you won't easily find his videos. Because I do puzzles, math puzzles, and everything in English. Also, I do some magic. I just want to um, tickle people's curiosity. He's not really, like, exploring Korea, because he's been here a long time. One thing he brought up to me today, which I had thought about, but I never really stopped to make a video about it, is Every Korean, not every, but most Koreans, especially young people these days, have English names. It reminds me of French colonialism in, uh, in, uh, in Africa, where uh, French colons would go to Africa and just wouldn't care about the, 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 the local culture and would say, what's your name? And wouldn't, of course, understand the name and say, okay, you're John, you're Albert Raymond, and they wouldn't really care about the other person. And uh, when I see some English teachers, they arrive in Korea, they don't really take the pain to learn the, the writing, the hangul, which is so easy. Uh, not even some of the, the way Korean people can speak and pronounce, which is very important when you're a teacher, but they don't. And they, they can't, of course, pronounce their students' name, and they give them an English name. And of course, little kids are enjoy it. For them, it's a novelty, they enjoy it. But when you think about it, your name is something you have the most precious, it's your identity. And when somebody comes who has an authority, like a teacher, and tells you, I don't care about your name, I won't give you another one from another culture, I just don't think it can be right. I might be wrong, but I just don't think it's right. I mean, there's no problem with you know, just someone in Korea choosing to have an English name and using it for various purposes. Oh, that's right. I mean, as an adult, you can choose your English name because it can make things easier. Personally, I have a Korean name, Yi An, that I use because it's easier for Korean people. But I'm an adult and I chose that name. But when you're a kid, you don't have much choice. And it doesn't matter what your feel, what what is your feeling about it. Even if he, they ask you to choose your name, but you're a kid, you don't have really uh, the knowledge and you don't exactly know what it is about. One thing I've always found weird when I meet, you know, uh, Koreans in their twenties, sometimes they introduce themselves with their English name because they think it may be hard to pronounce their Korean names. And some names are a little difficult, but I prefer to call them by their Korean name in Korea, not their English name. It doesn't really... I mean, their parents don't call them their English name. Their friends don't call them their English name. Exactly. Uh, what I think is that... What do you think of a friend who actually doesn't even bother to try to pronounce your name right? I mean, I'm not speaking about being successful at it, but about even trying. So if, you're, if I have a friend, I would like him to, to try to pronounce my name properly. It kind of has to do with Korea's obsession with globalization, where they feel like people need kind of English names to relate to the rest of the world, which is very much English speaking. But, I mean, it, it has purposes. I guess if you, if you have international clients, it helps to have a simple name for them to call you. But I guess in the case of just schools assigning everyone with English names, even if the teachers are Korean, it, doesn't really make sense. Globalization is not just absorbing uh, English, and, uh, but it's also uh, spreading Korean identity and uh, Korean culture. I agree with that. It's like you said, globalization goes both ways, and right. Korea needs to promote itself and you know its identity. It can't change the fact that what their names are. Exactly. Teaching people to learn Korean names is a good thing.